In this video, we're going to do another Trade Connections event, Germany, for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming, and today we're doing another Trade Connection event, uh, Germany, for Euro in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, in the last video, uh, I stuffed up and I didn't actually, because I wanted to test what um, the latest news said about the distance and it wasn't correct. So what I've actually done is I've gone and figured it out. I went and reread the information and I found out exactly what happened. So what I did in the last video, if we have a look at the map, we were going from, uh, so we were going from Espjerg down to uh down to keel well that's fine that will work for the community event but because we're doing the individual event that doesn't count so at least it wasn't a complete loss so i didn't lose everything there so um that added that run that we did last time uh, added to the community event so if i wanted to uh, go from Espjerg again I can still do that but I need to go somewhere else like uh, somewhere you know a little bit longer distance away like you know Rostock or something like that or wherever it was Berlin you know and that'll count okay so uh, this time though we are going from Rotterdam over to uh, Duisburg so you can see that that is actually you know the 300 over the 300 kilometers distance there it's 330 so i mean it's not a very long drive it should be quite easy and it's all on highway so should be good should be relatively easy so let's get on the road and get this going now what are we carrying today well let me start the truck up first there we go uh we're carrying some cyanide 18 tons of cyanide <laughs> I love that. That's great. We're going to go poison some people. <laughs> All right, let's get on the road. I'll do a tug test. Hang on. There we go. There's our tug test right there. Making sure that we are definitely hooked up and away we go. 18 tons of cyanide. Oh, I love SCS the way they do, you know, some of these cargoes. Hot chemicals was one that was interesting. You know, how did we keep the chemicals hot? But anyway, it's still, it's a lot of fun. You know, <laughs> cyanide. What are we going to do with all this cyanide? Is it, are we going to poison people or is it just going to be for chemicals, you know, for poisoning plants and stuff? I don't know. Interesting though, to have this much cyanide. All right, we're going through, mate. Blow you, you can wait. 50 through the town here. Uh, of Rotterdam so you got to make sure that we don't go over the speed limit because there's a speed camera just outside here I, I think it's still there it's been there for how many years the bloody thing gets me it used to get me all the time this speed camera and it used to drive me nuts especially on multiplayer I'd be hammering through here and it would get me Oops, we're going down here. We're just going to go on the grass a bit. It's all good. And it will stay in this lane. 50 through here. I'm keeping the speed well down because I don't want to get those speeding fines. 50, just stay. There we go, 50. Through the tunnel. This tunnel has actually been here for such a long time. I mean, this is one of the first areas in uh, Euro Trucks. Oh, 80 through here now. Right, okay. Uh, I believe that Germany was one of the areas that they... Was it from Euro Truck Simulator? Not two, just number one. That they brought over. And uh, now they're actually updating it. So that's that's interesting I'm not I'm not 100% sure if that is the case guys but I know that Germany was the first area that was put into Amer uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 so and I'm I can't remember but I think that was from Euro Trucks 
the original Euro Truck Simulator. And when they brought it over, it um, was updated a little bit, but not as much as you would have liked, as they would have liked. So, just cruising down here because this is 80 zone, and we're doing 90 through here. It's pain in the bum area. That's what this is. All these hills on a freeway. What were they thinking? like the, what is it, the, is it the Great Northern Freeway just outside of Sydney between Sydney and Newcastle that's got massive hills I see so many cars broken down on that on the, uh, whenever I go th down that way I see all sorts of cars and trucks broken down alright so I'm going to chuck on the cruise control there we go and we can just sit on 80 there, cruise along so there we go in the last video guys uh um i did stuff up so it wasn't um that i didn't do a uh an external contract i did do an external contract it was that i misread the instructions so the instructions are that um for the actual you know the standard deliveries that you're going to do yourself they must be over 300 kilometers okay for just your normal deliveries uh, they will be added to the community event but after you've done 10 of those you only have to do you don't have to actually do the 300 kilometers okay so that's where the rules changed I misunderstood it and I thought that they had actually changed all of the rules to be that you had to actually oops got to slow down here that you had to actually uh, you know keep it uh, oh, come on you're not slowing down fast enough yeah that you had to you know do it, you know 300 kilometers was abolished altogether so that's what I thought it was I misread these things happen probably because I went oh gosh you get serious SES you got to do this mid mid through the actual uh the event that's that's what i did that's exactly what i did you know and didn't read the rest properly okay so 50 we're gonna go up yep there is 100 so that'll be 80 for us and here we go do we need any fuel no don't need any fuel we're all good you know, but that's no big deal that I did stuff that up. That just means that you guys won't stuff it up because you've seen me stuff it up. So there we go. And it just means I have to do one more video, which is no big deal. So uh, this will be number five now that I'm doing. And then next, yeah, next week... Next week will be um, six, seven, and eight, and then I just have to do two more. So no big deal, no big deal. I think I'm, I may possibly have some. I'm not promising anything, but I think I may possibly have a few days off this week because work has really died in the ass at the moment. It was busy as anything, where I was doing you know twelve-hour days, and all of a sudden now it's just died and there's just no work so um, I think I'm gonna get some time off I'm not a hundred percent sure I may still be fine but um, talking to my boss you know we're just gonna he's gonna try and get me into another company and uh, you know the boss that owns the truck that is he's gonna try and get me some work in another company and see if we can uh, get some more work that way because when I'm not working he's not earning and he doesn't like that because yeah he doesn't make any money from me so there we go if I'm not working he doesn't make any money from me that's it and if I'm not working then I'm not driving and I want to drive so <laughs> that's why I want to work it's the only reason I want to drive uh, so I can get uh, so I can I want to work so I can drive that's it I love driving so, oh, look, we're at 200 kilometers already left to go. 
See, it's a nice cruise on the highway and it won't take long at all. See, I love doing these events. I think they're great. Now, um, as of recording this video, I believe that uh, we are at roughly about 7.5 million tons for the community event. So that is a lot of tons, a lot of tons. Still got to get another 43,000, 43 million tons, sorry. So 43 million tons is going to take a little while. And that's what SCS was saying in their actual article that the reason they did so much is because they wanted the event to go a bit longer than just two weeks which is fine by me because I like um, I like the event uh, lasting uh, longer than two weeks means it gives me a bit more time to get these videos done let's take some shots take some photos shall we out in the photo studio Oops, they pushed the wrong button then. And there we go. That's probably going to glow though. I'll just see if I can take a shot from there. See if that will not glow so much. Blur distance. There we go. There's some nice scenery. I've taken so many photos on this bridge. This is a bridge I love to take photos on. And there we go, there, uh, some beautiful scenery in the background, that looks great. Love the scenery, love it. There we go, might use one of those actually for the thumbnail for this one. So, um, and what else, uh, what other things, what other things, um, Um, oh, there was something else I was going to talk about, and I did think about it, and then I forgot about it. What on earth? What was I thinking? Uh, that's all right. It'll come to me eventually one day. Probably after I've done the video, it'll come to me, and I'll go, Oh, that's right. I wanted to, th I wanted to speak about that, didn't I? Um, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, the mod reviews, guys. Don't forget that if you want to check out this week's mod reviews your voting does count so we're having a look at mods for um, uh, American Truck Simulator this this week I want to get some more Euro Truck Simulator mods in there but the mods that I'm looking at um, are not really that exciting you know they're pretty boring um, they have a lot of them are rehashes of rehashes and then rehashes of rehashes and then it's you know it's yeah there's not very many good mods coming out for euro trucks and that's probably why i haven't really touched on euro trucks much much there was one that i did see that i was actually very interested in but believe it or not it was the modder had made it for a very old version 1.26 and i was like why would you do that why would you do that only reason i can think of is that he'd actually got a dodgy version of euro trucks and he'd made the you know the mod for that dodgy version of euro trucks that's the only reason i can think why he is you know making that mod for such an old version so um which it does happen guys it does happen people still do get dodgy versions of the game and I don't know I don't understand why to be honest um, because you can get it at such a cheap price you know but anyway that's what people do oh there's a plane flying low over my house you can probably hear that <laughs> uh, let's see 130 138 kilometers there to go so not very far at all and it's 80 along here, so I can speed it up while I put cruise control back on. And we can just scoot along here nicely. Um, 
No, I've still forgotten what I was going to say about that other thing. I don't know what it was. These things happen. Uh, let's see, what else has been going on? Um, the draw distance on this has been decreased. Why is that different? See, my draw distance is actually very different. I haven't done anything to change that. Why is that different? Um, that should be further back, but it's not. It's changed. I noticed, well, I noticed, you can notice it with the lines on the road more than anything. That they're a bit blurry closer than what they are. wonder if that's something that they've changed recently. I don't know. 80, oh, 60 through here, come on, really? 60 through this area? I can do 80, no problem. There we go. And I'll reset the cruise control. And I bet you once I set it, it'll change. And then we'll have to um, go back up to 80. That's happened many times. Um, what else? What else exciting things has been happening lately? Uh, I, we did uh, in American Trucks. We did. Uh, I did, well, I did actually see that the updates for Coast to Coast and for Canna Dream are actually working now. So if you're into American trucks as well as Euro trucks, which I highly advise you do, um, then the uh, Canna Dream and Coast to Coast are working with the latest patch, which is really, really good. Uh, I did try and get Viva Mexico to work, but that was not wanting to work with um, both Coast to Coast and Canna Dream. And I did follow the load procedure for um, that they do have on the on the, the forum. So if you want to get a copy of those those mods, or you're not sure what Coast to Coast is or Canna Dream, basically they add. A whole heap of more towns basically add the whole US map and Canada and well a lot of Canada in there as well so that opens up a whole heap of worlds a whole heap of uh, different new s states and towns and that's really good definitely a must I would definitely recommend it for um, uh, if you love playing American Truck Simulator as I know many of you do what is that over there? Some dude is just dumping a whole heap of crap on the side of the road. Where's his number plate? Report him to the... Uh, report him to main roads. <laughs> or the cops, whichever. They'll deal with him. 58 kilometers. See, the time just flies by. Just flies by as you're driving along. I'm very keen to see if um, if uh, SCS Software do release the new um, uh, Over the Baltic Sea before Christmas. I'm hoping they do because that'll be another larger area for Euro trucks. And I don't mind driving Euro trucks. You know the Volvo. Volvo is my favourite truck. Not a big Scania fan. Uh, don't like the MANs. Uh, we, uh, what else, what do we have at, at work? We had, um, oh, the Euro Cargo is one that we had, and that is not a very good truck at all. Oh, 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 I've got to change gears. There we go. Um, and yeah, that was, that truck is always breaking down. I don't know if it's just that truck or what, but I don't think I'd buy a, a uh, uh, any. I'd, I'd buy one of those. Damn it! I can't think of what it was. Called, what the brand is? I mean, uh, having one of those, you know, brain fart days today. Nothing coming. All right, let's go. Also, my mind's wandering at the moment because 
uh, Lean is making something upstairs that smells delicious and I'm as soon as I finish this video I'm gonna race upstairs to try and find out what it is because it smells delicious <laughs> food oh food and beer that's what you need in life food and beer um, next week guys I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to get out I'm gonna try and do some videos if I have some time off I'm gonna try and do some videos during the week which will uh, eliminate this problem but next weekend is Oktoberfest for me so uh, basically uh, myself lean mrs. senior junior um, senior senior and uh, my mum and my uh, best mate one of my best mates uh, creepy dr. house there we're all going to Oktoberfest here in Brisbane so and it will be at the German Club so if you know where I'm talking about you want to meet us there you can do that's fine no problem uh, but we will be having a, a family lunch there as well so just bear in mind that <laughs> I do want to, I do like to spend some time with the family guys I do but um, that's gonna be a whole lot of fun um, I've got a brand new outfit to show you guys as well so uh, I think you're gonna think it's really cool um, I know I love making a fool of myself and uh, it's all good fun that's the main thing as long as it's as long as it's fun and tasteful you know or nobody gets hurt as long as it's fun and nobody gets hurt that's the main thing you know I'm not too worried about anything else all right here is our destination and I'm just winding it down as we're coming into the town because I really don't want a speeding fine it's 50 through here 50 kilometers is so slow and here we go we're gonna go up to the end of the street there and turn so there is yep yeah, there's a you can see all the little little gray spaces you'll notice that in euro trucks and that means that areas have been updated in that little section and that's why they go gray because it's undiscovered area you haven't been there before so change that to low Over. and there we go so there is the um, BFG <laughs> it's this BFG that's all you can see there it says BFG no it's the HBFG and then I'll just turn down here There we go. Um, I think this is the one I could have turned down. Oh no. No, no, I can't. I thought I could turn down the other one. No. Another street. No, can't do that with this. There we go. Making sure the trailer gets through nicely. And there is our drop zone. Just going to take this wide and swing it round so that it goes along the wall and then hook it up here and we should be able to get it in and this should be relatively straightforward backing this in I mean oh I got that in the that's what that is there we go low low I don't like being in um, reverse high I just like to coast it along nicely and that way you know you don't get in any trouble don't hit anything it's the last thing you want to do while reversing is hit something so there we go that's nice and easy there look at that bingo bingo bongo there we go so this should be number five is it going to give it to us 
Let's see, dropping the trailer. I love doing these events. I love it. I don't care if I, you know, stuff one up. That's fine, you know. These things happen. And right, there we go. We got a uh, very nice bit of XP there and some money. Let's continue. Number five, there we go. That is great. Oh, that's what I was going to talk about. I just remembered what it was. For those of you who are interested, I have upgraded my... Um, this is my profile that I've been using. That Remember, it's like the third, third new profile I've done because the others got deleted. Uh, I went to the... What was it? The garage manager and I upgraded my garage. I've only got one garage now and it went from the three... And I've now made it with five, so I can have five in there. Uh, next thing, I've got to buy some more trucks. So you two more trucks and then hire two more people. And then before you know it, I'll be able to uh, buy another another um, garage. And that's when we can go and upgrade. So there we go. Uh, looks like we're making a little bit of profit on this daily profit, 32,531. That's pretty, that's not bad. That's not bad profit, you know, considering we're not doing, we haven't got a full, you know, there's two more slots there to go, so. But uh, when you, it's when you start making $100,000 a day, that's great profit. You can do that, you know. Well, when you get a few more people in there and they get uh, more experience in that, that's when it starts getting to $100,000 a day. Uh, and then you have multiple garages that do that. That's great. It really is. Well, that is pretty much it for me today, guys, with this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this drive that we did with our cyanide that we dropped off. And hopefully it's not being used to kill anybody that we know. Yeah, hopefully it's... Uh, yeah, but <laughs> anyway, that's some cyanide. Look at the container. It's rusted as. It looks pretty rusty. Well, guys, look, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game up.